Ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, be so in a sense, even in his absence, I remain Kobe when it comes to the cologne collection. Rest in peace to Gigi, the freestyles is flagrant. Today we talking fragrance. Now, I did that Spartan Rich, y'all. Everybody wants to know what the fragrance I had on that day was. So let's get into that. I'm what they fear, black man with intelligence. Ghetto fab splashed with a dash of elegance. Well spoken, but could tell him hood. Attitude funky, but that boy be smelling good. Not just a rapper, I'm a poet. They point out all my flaws, but fail to mention my heroics. Through the ages, different phases went from playing with razors to those say goodbye to blazers. No more child's play, we grown. Less bottles of Patron, more bottles of cologne. It's like a cheat code to make a coochie melt. She paying more attention to your fragrance than your Gucci belt. So go to Bloomies, cop a bottle or two. Get some sense for your girl, cop some bottles for you. I'm giving out lessons. Come and take a part of this class. Before you spray that fragrance on, make sure you wash your ass. Look, that's just something that I got to say. Step your collection up. No more Axe body spray. So in a sense, so what a hater gonna tell me? I'm Kobe when it comes to the colognes. You smell me? man once said it ain't a race it's a marathon me personally i just so happened to run a half a marathon in 2019 um i went to philadelphia in 2018 and battled enes as a promo for the movie creed 2 i'm a big rocky fan now when i was there that weekend i saw that they had a rocky race which was a half a marathon so i vowed that the next year i would run that half a marathon and when I ran that half a marathon, I told myself, I'm going to always do these. I'm going to run half marathons, 5Ks. I'm going to work my way up to a full marathon. And I wanted to run Spartan races. This was 2019 going into the year 2020. And I said I was going to run Spartan races. We all know what happened in 2020. Yeah, they sent them checks out, man. So, so if this is any indication that they about to send out some free money, I don't know. Maybe that's the direction that we headed in. But either way, I finally ran a Spartan race. Now, just because I'm out there getting sweaty and so forth and so on, it does not mean I ain't going to wash my ass that day and, and put on the good smells, all right? And before we get into that, though, do me a favor. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friend whose house smells funny because chances are the Cribs thinks they do too. Now, like I said, previously ran a half a marathon. I wanted to run a Spartan race. Unfortunately, I tore my Achilles. April 25th, 2022. Achilles tear, one of the worst injuries you could ever suffer. So when I say I'm Kobe when it comes to the cologne collection, I really mean that because I tore my Achilles and I finished my shift at work because I tore my Achilles at work, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, you know. I had to bounce back from that injury, one of the worst injuries I could possibly bounce back from. I, I hit the gym crazy. Yeah, you can see me out here in these streets. I may be looking a little aki, and that's for a reason. So I decided I was going to run a Spartan race like I always wanted to. Now, you got to train properly for that. Um, I would have liked to train a little better, but in all actuality, since I've been doing upper body work, I, I was pretty much ready for the obstacles. It was the distance. That really kicked my ass. A lot of steep hills. The Spartan race was on, it was on an old ski resort. So we was running up and down a lot of hills and the terrain, it was a lot of rocks out there. So when I'm, when I'm stepping, I'm not stepping on a flat surface. I'm stepping on stuff, I'm twisting my ankles. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping in the mud, I'm climbing over stuff. I had went to an obstacle, which I thought was an obstacle I had to do, but I had to run under it at first. But when I first went to it, I thought I had to do it. It was a 20 feet in the air climb. You had to climb up, climb over, climb down. I got to it. I was a little scared because I was scared of heights. The more I started doing the obstacles, the more confident I became in myself. A lot of upper body stuff. Really just pulling yourself up. And you know, New York, we're a beast with them pull-ups. We do them right on the corner. We do them in the park. And I do them when I get to the gym. So uh, by the time I got to this obstacle, when I really had to do it, I conquered all my fears. I, I felt fearless, so I, I climbed to the top of it. I'm still scared of heights, but uh, but I did it that day. But y'all know what we here for. I ain't going to talk y'all head off with the Spartan race stuff. If that's what y'all want to do, y'all sign up for that. Y'all want to know the fragrance that I had on. Now, the scent I had on is Crivelli's Hibiscus Mahajig. 
got hibiscus, it's got rose, it's got vanilla, it's got leather, it's got peppermint. The reason I went with this is, is this scent is very round and robust. I don't want y'all to think of the singular notes because it's got rose in it and I'm not a floral kind of guy. But the, the combination of all these notes, it makes for something very beautiful. I have never worn this and not gotten a compliment. I, I'm talking about even when fellas smell me, pause, they say, yo, whatever that is you wearing, you smell mad good, my God. So this gave me the confidence the morning that I woke up that I could conquer all 25 of the obstacles that I had to run. Now, I didn't conquer all 25 of them, all right? I did 24 out of 25 obstacles. The last obstacle was the rope climb, and a rope climb is, is, is real foot technique that you really gotta have if you really wanna do that the right way. But either way, I did smell good going into the race. Now, coming out of the race, <laughs> I smell terrible. I, it was mud all over me, mud in my eyes, mud in my ears, mud in my bed. But this gave me the confidence to run that race. Um, the label on it is a little faded, but I tell you what, the scent does not fade. It lasts all day unless you run in a Spartan race. You run a Spartan race, I can't guarantee that you're going to smell good coming out of that. But you're going to smell good going into it. There's a lot of ladies out there. Right? They probably didn't smell me, but I smell myself. And I felt confident enough to conquer 24 out of 25 obstacles in that Spartan race. Like I said, I've never worn this and not gotten a compliment. So it's going to put a little dent in your pocket. But remember, she's going to pay way more attention to that cologne than she does that Gucci belt. She's going to pay attention to that Spartan medal too, all right? Yeah, I mean, they, they like that, man. They, yeah, they see me looking all Aki out there doing things that... That they boyfriend can't do. You ask your boyfriend to do 20 push-ups, I bet you he can't do it. But David Goggins ain't get out there and run all these obstacle races for me to be sitting back on my ass, all right? More races to come, more sense to come, more fears to conquer, more obstacles to overcome. They even had something where the day before you could come out there and see the obstacles and run through the obstacle course. But let me tell you something about life. You don't get a preview of the obstacles. You just got to get out there and conquer them. That's what I did in this Spartan race. And I smell pretty good doing that. Remember, y'all, I don't do this for views. This is the news you can use. Keep your distance, mind your business, step your collection up.